so where do I even begin? I mean, I just finished putting together my ultimate dream desk setup and Herman Miller Gaming sent me my freaking dream chair, the Herman Miller and Body Gaming in collaboration with Logitech. I'll be honest and I'll say that I've been dreaming about owning an embodying gaming chair for a while now. And once I sat down on it for the first time, I understood why it's considered to be the Rolls Royce of gaming chairs. And for somebody that works from home and is constantly creating and occasionally gaming, the importance of having a good chair starts to be the center of what you do because of the amount of hours you spend sitting down working. So first, let's take a quick step back and understand why is Herman Miller even in gaming on the first place. So their mission is basically to create furniture that provides superior ergonomic support and adjustability to help players avoid injuries or improve performance while gaming, especially people that play for long periods of time or even just want to create from their spaces. So their two most important goals is to negate the negativity impact of sitting for long periods of time but also improving your health while sitting and that's why they found most race style gaming chairs very uncomfortable and impractical. So let me tell you about this chair and I'll do my best to be impartial as much as possible and not turn this into a gloating section because I easily could. But I want to touch on the design, the setup, its features, pros and cons and my final thoughts. Just in case you're thinking about buying this chair for your battle station, work from home setup or just your desk setup. By the way, my name is Kai Marcelizi and I talk about desk setup setups, tech, and just about anything that almost interests me. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll be dropping really dope videos in the next coming weeks about desk cable management and how to light your setup and take pictures for social media. So if you like this kind of stuff, hey, stick around. The first thing you notice once you get this chair is the box. Hammer Million Gaming sends this chair in a huge box, which once it got here, I almost snapped my back. So right after that, it was time to set up and by the size of the box, it would hint that they send this chair fully assembled, which is a great thing because it actually eliminates a lot of installation errors. Yeah, so that makes the unboxing process really smooth. You pretty much just roll the chair out of the box. So touching on the design a little bit, I ordered the black and cyan just because I love the mix of teal and orange and my setup has a lot of shades of orange and I really wanted the chair to be not only an additional piece to the setup, but also a statement piece. But this chair also comes in other colors like a black on black black, a white with green, and a white with pink color options. So looking at the features, it's made with die cast aluminum, glass filled nylon, and 100% polyester. And they added an additional layer of foam in the seat to support an active seating position. The foam is made with infused copper particles to help regulate body temperature during intense gameplays and over long play sessions with added ridges to the foam structure to help dissipate heat. So if you're wondering if you get hot in this chair because of being fabric, I think it's on a use case basis so the chair was designed to not hold your body heat but i feel that this is very subjective in my case even though i tend to be a very hot person i don't sweat in the back so i don't have problems with a fabric chair because my previous chair was also fabric and i had zero issues and the build quality is insane like the seat cushion feels like a suspension with a dynamic matrix of 150 pixels throughout the chair seat and back comfort to encourage micro movements and dissipate your weight, especially during long gaming sessions, encouraging healthy circulation while gaming. And one of the biggest selling points about this chair is the amount of customizability, like adjusting the armrests in and outwards, twisting the right knob to increase or reduce the back fit of the chair to match the curve of your spine. And on the other knob, you can increase and reduce the amount of tension when reclining. I mean, this is crazy. I've never seen it in a chair. And on the very same knob you also notice a gaming inspired joystick to raise and lower the chair's height and on the left back side the reclining limiter but the most unique feature is the ability to extend the seat depth instead of moving the seat back and forth like most other brands out there before we talk about what i think are some of the pros and cons let me actually tell you how i would adjust this chair to my comfort level so first thing you want to adjust is the height using the joystick knob on the right to the point that your knees are at a nine degree angle and your elbows to your desk height as much as possible i adjusted the height of my chair all the way up even though my feet get off the ground what massively helps on this case is a foot rocker to maintain proper posture but this can be easily replaced by a footrest or you could just lower the chair's height to match the 90 degree angle on your knees. Next is the back support which I first locked the reclining flip switch on the left side then I turned the right back knob all the way back and I see it flush on the back of the chair 
while sitting up straight, making contact with my lower back only. Then I keep adjusting the knob until I slightly feel the back coming to my entire back to where it's comfortable to me, but not too evasive on the lumbar area because I don't like lumbar supports that much. So, so far these adjustments are great just to improve your gaming posture, but we are not done. So with the reclining flip switch still locked, I adjust the right front knob by making sure the tension is all the way up, meaning it's on the toughest setting to recline. And then I unlock the reclining switch to the highest setting so that I can adjust the tension down to the point that I can comfortably recline but still have intention to be supported by the chair to reduce strain or fatigue on spine or back muscles. One thing though, if you want to sit straight up on this chair, I think it was not designed for that because when you do even lock the switch tilt on the back, your chair still has a slight give and when you rest your back, it kind of puts you in a position, not slouching, you don't slouch, but it's not a super uptight straight position. To me, I'm fine because that's actually optimal to me, but I thought it was worth mentioning. And the final thing to adjust is the seat deck, which you can grab the two side handles and pull slightly up and push it forward to extend the seat or back the retract. And this is a very unique design that I've only seen in this chair. And I personally take a lot of joy because I do like my seat almost touching to the back of my knees. And that was one of the problems I had on my Clatina is that because of the design of these chairs, when you move the whole seat back and forth, you end up sitting on the back hump of the seat which just ended up hurting my bottom in just 30 minutes of seating. Now let's talk about some pros and cons of this chair and starting with the pros first thing is the quality which is unmatched because it's made with durable sustainable materials like die cast aluminum 100% polyester and glass filled nylon and not just those other random plastics that other gaming chairs use out there and this actually helps uh, Herman Miller Gaming to state that this will be your last gaming chair you buy with a 12 year warranty that will put you in a position to maybe own this chair for 12 or 15 plus years if you choose to do so. Another pro is the seat depth extension. That thing is clutch to me because I don't have to sit on no hump and then have my bottom. So this is dope. Next is the tension adjust. I like the idea of even though you can recline, you can adjust the amount of tension so I can customize this to whatever I'm feeling. Some days I don't even use the same amount of tension. I just go by whatever I'm feeling that day. And the most important thing of all that will make me discard a chair, no matter what price or quality, is the lumbar support. I personally have a hard time with those because I feel like I'm punched in the lower back every time. And even though you make adjustments that come with those type of chairs, it never seems to work. So that to me is a huge deal breaker. Now about the cons of this chair, I feel like it's a little bit early for me to give you cons being that I've only tested this chair for two weeks. I mean, it would be nice to see a headrest, but Herman Milan Gaming believes that the way the back arch was designed was to give you enough support for your neck. Yeah, so I'll be giving that a try. I do have a big head though, so we'll see. The next thing that I would say is price that we know is not cheap, but they are currently offering great split payment options on their website, which you can find the link in my description below. And to think about it, it depends on how you see this. It could actually end up being an investment since it's going to be your last gaming chair that you're gonna own for a while. And by a while, I'm talking about 10 plus years. Oh, and just a few thoughts that you should consider before buying this chair. Herman Miller Gaming, they massively believe in improving the performance in their designs to enhance your gaming experience so that you can enjoy playing more comfortably, which is a very different approach to wellness and performance gaming and it might actually improve your gaming experience but be a lookout for a review on six months or maybe a year later of me using this chair and how it holds up over time so my quick final thoughts on this guys don't get me wrong this is my dream chair and i'm super excited and blessed to have one but i definitely recommend if you can go out there and test other chairs as well and see what fits your budget and what fits your posture and your overall experience. To some, lumbar support is a thing, to others not, so to each his own. As for me, this will be my buddy for the next coming years, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.